Hi, I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter, and you're watching and listening to Job Search Radio. I'd like to spend a few minutes, six days a week, talking with you about some, let's try that again, talking with you about some element of job hunting or career management, because to me, a lot of people make mistakes that are so easy to correct, and it just doesn't have to be that hard if you take a moment to learn and to think and to practice. You know, getting a job, well, frankly, for many of you, you forget the fact that the skills needed to find a job are different than the skills needed to do a job. And in this particular case, I'm going to talk with you about career management, which is far easier than many of you treat it. You know, you, many of you abdicate your responsibility, leaving it to an employer to decide where you should get to, how far you should ascend the ladder. And there's no reason for that. Who's in charge of your life? I think you know the answer is you. And in terms of managing your career, like I said, many of you give up your power to a mommy or daddy company and let them make all the decisions. So here's the simplest career management strategy to help you get to the top. So it doesn't matter where you are in the process. It doesn't matter if you're looking for a job. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. It doesn't matter if you're a senior. All that matters is that you take this attitude and apply it. So here's the strategy. You decide where you want to get to. Understand that it may not be a straight line. It may have some zigzags. But once you've decided where the target is, you start networking with people at target organizations and at targeted roles. Let's start with the targeted roles. You want to talk with people. I'm going to work with marketing, for example. You want to network with people who are in chief marketing officer roles and start talking with them about their path to success, what they learned along the way, what their forecasts are for the future, and start engaging in conversations where you learn from them how they got there, knowing full well that how they got there and how you get there may be completely different. But you start with some basic information from folks who've gotten there. Because they'll tell you their lessons learned if you ask them about it. Because I can assure you they didn't get it there on a straight path. And you also want to talk, well, you also want to start networking with people at target organizations. Why? Very simple. There are firms you want to work for. And if you wait until your job search is about to begin and start networking, why should they trust you and why should they help you? Networking is really about, as I said in another video, it's like being two kids who are getting to know one another and develop a friendship. And through that friendship and times that are shared, they learn to trust one another. Well, you act as though people will talk to you one time and say, you know, that's the perfect individual for our firm. We should go out of our way and hire them. Obviously, it doesn't work that way. What works is when two people get to know, like, trust, and respect one another and decide there's a place that you can help one another, and then they bring the, the marriage together, right? It is like dating. You know, you get married to someone that you love, and love doesn't happen instantly very often. So here, I'm just simply suggesting you start learning from people who are already in the role, and then thinking of organizations that you'd want to work for, Target them. Start networking with people who are currently employed there, and lots of them, knowing full well that some of them are going to leave and some of them are going to stay. If they leave, you have tentacles out into other organizations that may appeal to you too, right? But you do this years in advance, months in advance, but preferably years in advance, so that you're not just diving in and expecting people to jump through hoops to help you because you need help. Why should that? Again, network to people who are in leadership roles and learn from them. 
network to people who already work for organizations you'd like to work for. So you develop a relationship where they'll learn to know, like, trust, and respect you, understand your skills, maybe tell you what you need to do or know in order to be qualified to work for their firm. And then at a right time, you can ask them or they can reach out to you to tell you about relevant opportunities. So I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this helpful. And Please give the show five stars on iTunes or Stitcher. It helps other people discover the show. And subscribe. I'm going to tell you, subscribe to the show, whether that's in YouTube, webtalkradio.net, whether you subscribe in iTunes, Stitcher, any place that you're watching or listening to the show, give it a shout. And I look forward to helping you in the future. And by the way, if you're interested in my coaching you, visit TheBigGameHunter.us. There's information there. They'll tell you how I can help you. Have a great day.